All right, so let's take a look at this example. So here's our X, here's our Y, and a little rough sketch of this. doesn't have to be perfectly to scale, but just kind of give us a little idea of what it looks like. And so here's our X value, here's our Y value, and you did the basically the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the R value right here, which is square root of 3. And so you can see that sine of theta is going to oops, sine of theta is going to be uh, y over r okay so sine of theta is square root of 2 over the square root of 3 and then what we're going to do here is we're going to have to rationalize this and what that basically means is you can't have a radical in the denominator spot so i'm going to multiply this by the number one but it's it's Going to be, it's going to look very different than the number one. It's going to be square root of 3 over square root of 3. And what I'm trying to do is multiply the denominator by something that will be a perfect square. So when you multiply, the top would become square root of 6, and the bottom will become square root of 9, which then is a perfect square. So then I end up with the square root of 6 over 3. And you can't simplify that. Don't try to, um, because one's inside a radical, one's not. So they're very different. So you're not able to simplify that there. But basically, that's the, that's the pattern you're going to see here is whatever that denominator radical is, you can basically multiply the top and bottom by that same value, and it should simplify fairly nicely.